Today I'm going to test my car's oxygen sensor. This is a Bosch style oxygen sensor. The sensor is from a Ford, but these were used in pretty much every make and model car um, since they started using oxygen sensors. Some of them have um, just one wire. This one has three wires because it has a heating element in the sensor itself. Um, to perform the test you need the sensor clamped into a vise. You also need a propane torch and a digital voltmeter. Some theory on how these sensors operate. The sensor is actually an electrical generator. It creates voltage in this black wire here um, based on the difference in oxygen between the air on this side of the sensor that's in the exhaust pipe and the air on this side of the sensor which is exposed to the ambient air. The greater the difference between oxygen levels, the higher the voltage. So what we will do to test this is apply flame to this side of the sensor and measure the voltage that is created. We should get a reading of close to one volt, between 0.9 and 1 volt DC. And then when we remove the flame, it should drop very rapidly within a second to 0.1 volts, very, very low voltage. So first thing I'm going to do is apply one of my voltmeter leads to this black wire, which is the signal wire for the oxygen sensor. These other two white wires are for the heating element. If you have a single wire oxygen sensor, just probe the single wire. And the other probe will just be um, touching the case of the sensor. Now I have my electrical leads hooked up to the oxygen sensor. I have one of them touching the case of the sensor and the other one is probing the signal wire from the sensor. You can either get to the wire this way or you can use an insulated alligator clip or some type of connector to get to the terminal on this side of the connector. So now that that's hooked up, I'm going to set my voltmeter to the lowest setting here, 2 volts DC. Be sure that when you're getting ready to do this test uh, not to apply any voltage to the sensor because that can ruin it. Even doing something as simple as turning your meter to ohms and connecting the terminals can damage the sensor because when you test the resistance it actually sends some current uh, through the test leads. So make sure to leave it on the voltage setting at all times and don't short out any wires or anything. So I'll start up my torch and we'll see what happens. I'm going to start by just heating up the sensor and trying to achieve one volt or close to it on my multimeter. Well, I'm thinking this one's bad because the highest I saw it get to was 0.3 volts. And it should be getting much higher than that. So I may just have a faulty sensor. I've just returned home from the auto parts store with a 
new oxygen sensor and I've placed it in the vise with uh, test leads attached to it in the same manner as I had the old one and now I'm going to do the same test with the torch and see what kind of reading comes up on the digital multimeter. As you can see, as I applied the flame, the voltage rose to almost a volt, 0.9, and then as I removed the flame, it almost immediately dropped back down to lower than 0.1 volts. So that's what a new oxygen sensor performs like. Thanks for watching.